If you want fast feet, of course you have to put in the time and the practice. And you want your footwork to help you out when you run on the pitch. So let's get into some exercises that will make you a better athlete. These are some of the best single leg exercises for footballers. All right, starting here with the first exercise, the single leg hops. Make sure to do each exercise three to five times with both legs. One repetition is there and back through the cones. It's important with these exercises to practice the correct technique so you don't hurt yourself and so that you can maximize your gains from these specific exercises. On the single leg hops, make sure your knee is slightly bent and you are absorbing the landing softly with the ball of your foot. You are basically on your toes this entire exercise. The goal of the exercise is to hop over the cone, then when you land, you hop over the next cone as quickly as possible with as little time on the ground as possible. You are building up the strength and your explosive speed with both legs. Your calves will start to burn if you haven't done these exercises before, but that's normal. Just do minimal reps and have a good rest time in between each rep if it does really start to burn. Next exercise is the lateral hops. Again, stay on the balls of your feet or your toes and keep your chest and hips pointed away from the straight line of cones. Hop all the way through the cones, then push off to go back with your opposite leg. The reason for these single leg exercises is to build muscle and the fast twitch muscle fibers. This will help you in your fast feet exercises and even running on the pitch. These exercises will also help with balance and core stability. Next exercise is a little bit more advanced, but we are combining the single leg hop like we did previously with a lateral bound out to the side of the cones. You will then laterally bound back into the cones and hop over the next cone and repeating the motion again. Again, stay on the balls of your feet here and bend your knees to absorb the force and have minimal ground contact time. Explode up and over each time you make contact with the ground. Fourth exercise is also a little bit more advanced because we are jumping a bit further here. We are jumping over two cones and then hopping backwards one cone, which is the difficult part. If you struggle with this, don't be afraid to reduce the distance between the cones until you can jump a little bit further. Stay on the balls of your feet here. Doing the hop backwards works on your deceleration and how well you can move your body into space. This exercise alone will help build up a lot of strength in your legs and give you really good power when running or changing direction. Last exercise is easier than the last two exercises, but here we are going for speed and seeing how fast you can get through the cones while changing direction constantly. You are weaving in and out of the cones here on one leg. And if you want a real challenge, you can even try doing this exercise going backwards. So these are all the exercises for today. Be sure to practice each one until you are comfortable with them and you will see major improvements with your athleticism, body control, balance, speed, and power. All it takes is about 10 to 15 minutes, about three days a week, and you'll see huge results. Thanks for watching and let me know what you'd like to see next. Until then, I'll see you all in the next video.